Hi guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin, and today we are going to dive into a piece of weird history. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at that time that Teddy Roosevelt took a picture with Abraham Lincoln. Well, sort of. So, the story begins on April 25th, 1865. The funeral procession of Abraham Lincoln was moving through New York, and as the funeral procession moved down Broadway, a photo was taken. For decades, no one really thought much of this photo, until Stefan Laurent came across it while doing research on Lincoln. And to his surprise, he noticed that the building on the corner in the photo was the Roosevelt Mansion, owned by Teddy Roosevelt's grandfather. And looking closer at the photo, he noticed that in the window of the mansion were two boys looking out at the funeral possession. He theorized that this was Teddy Roosevelt and his brother watching Lincoln's funeral procession, but he had no proof. That is, until he got a very rare opportunity. He had a chance to ask Roosevelt's wife about the photo before her death in 1948. Upon seeing the photo, she reportedly said, Yes, I think that is my husband, and next to him, his brother. That horrible man. I was a little girl then, and my governess took me to Grandfather Roosevelt's house on Broadway so I could watch the funeral procession. But as I looked down from the window and saw all the black drapings, I became frightened and started to cry. Theodore and Elliot were both there. They didn't like my crying. They took me and locked me in a back room. I never did see Lincoln's funeral. Her statement confirmed what Laurent had thought all along and brought even more history to the photograph 75 years after it was taken. Of course, Lincoln was sadly not alive during the time of this photo, but this coincidence is still great enough to be considered a weird story in history. The time the 16th president and the 26th president took a photo together. <laughs>